Muscle Farm presents Gareth McClellan versus Armand DeBrain. I don't care what he feels like, I don't care how, how, what he anticipates. You better be ready for a full speed of walk. I think I'm going to see the person and I think I'm going to fight. I see him as a great trip. After a clinical display at EFC Africa 14, former middleweight champion Gareth McClellan has promised an all-out war as he works toward reclaiming the belt. I have my eyes set on something and I won't stop until I get there. So whoever they put in front of me, I'm going to run straight through them like a steam train. Currently on a three-fight win streak, dangerous judo specialist Armand Debray looks to upset the odds and take one step closer to championship glory. I get my heart to open, or my heart to duck. I don't get to open, I'm capable of this, by my means I get. So I get to open offer. I hope he's trained hard. I hope he's ready, because I'm coming to knock him out. I fight the things that go. It's not, I intimidate my heart. It's not, I said no for sure. when you fight a guy like Gareth. Former South African judo champion, he brings those judo skills and he's quite happy to be on the ground and dominate proceedings. Trains with some of the best judo practitioners in the country, guys that compete at national as well as world level. So in terms of his judo game, he has got a top notch one of those. And we remember that right hand that he stopped his Makueva with in that first round, knocked him out, something Tyron Wright had couldn't do over the course of three rounds. So he's definitely got knockout power in his hands. And this is a very, very big moment for him. Ramon de Bray. His fourth fight at EFC Africa. Will he have enough to stop Garrett, Soldier Boy McClellan? Africa, 
that he is one of those fighters that has a huge array of skills. He really brings serious, serious punishment to his opponents. But like you said, Dirk, he needs to get over this hurdle if he wants to be in a tip-top shape to dethrone Jeremy Pitbull Smith. Jared looks so, so, so focused. Running right for some under the brain and having a good look at him. Looks in really, really good shape coming into this bout. But you can see on Mont de Brain, he is not being intimidated by the soldier boy factor. The big exchange tail of the tape. There's not much separates these two fighters in the middleweight division. One centimeter taller is the fans. Wow, one centimeter further reach or the brain. Ben Exchange, the exclusive betting partner of EFC Africa. Over to Shane the Duke Wellington. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this main card bout is three rounds in the EFC Africa middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo fighter holding a professional fight record of three wins and one loss. He stands at 1.86 meters tall and weighs in at 83 kilograms. He's fighting out of Pine Town in Durban, Armand Lebrun! And now introducing his opponent. He's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional fight record of seven wins and two losses. He stands at 1.87 uh, meters tall and weighs in at 83 kilograms. He's fighting out of Sunning Hill, Johannesburg. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the former EFC Africa middleweight champion, Gareth. The lovely EFC girls probably brought to you by DGR. That's Rex Dip and Gearbox. RDG brings you the fantastic looking EFC girls. So guys, the thing is that I'm going to make my focus gloves, won't you? Okay, back to the corners. Gareth, are you ready? Come on, are you ready? Fight! Round one gets underway with Nimrod Vodka. Soldier Boy in the white trunks. The Bray in the blue and black. You hear the crowd chanting Soldier Boy. Nice. Uh, Echo in the top by Gareth. Straight right. Gareth with that top. South Force ones, you can remember it used to be orthodox, moved to South Force, isn't it?